Okay, we have a good one here today from the UK integration, B2024, number eight. We have the integral from zero to pi over two of all this stuff here, dx. I actually thought this was a good opportunity to kind of expand on what we did in the previous video, which was we had a similar integral or a similar looking integral to this. We had the exponentials in the numerator and we were able to use Frulani's integral on it. And in that video, I kind of did out all the steps with Feynman's trick, but what you could do for that one was just go to a formula and use this to go to a solution. But now for this one here, the interesting thing is it doesn't quite work or it definitely doesn't work because we've got some differences here. Like first of all, we've got sine two X in the numerator and the formula we need to have X. On the bounds, we're going from zero to infinity, but here we're going to pi over two. And even the coefficients here, for it to be f of ax or f of bx here in the numerator, what we need is we need the coefficient, we need like one over square root of three and square root of three on the x, not having a tan x here. So what I actually wanna do on this is try to clean it up and what we can use is this trick that seems to solve all your problems and fix all your integrals, which is just multiply by one, multiplying by secant squared x over secant squared x. Let's distribute this in and rewrite everything. So for the numerator, I'm just gonna write in, I'm just gonna bring the secant squared x in here without changing anything. But then multiplying it into the denominator, let's be a little more careful. I can think about this secant squared, I can write this as one over cosine squared x. And then on the sine two x, let's use the double angle formula and write it that way. So this will become two sine x over cosine x. Then I can cancel one cosine with one of these. I could take this two and we can bring this up front here as one half and put the sine x and the cosine x together. Doing that, this is just gonna become tan x when we just put that as, when we just put those together. And then from here, the nice thing about this is we've got tan all over the place. We've got tan in three places, but we've got the derivative of tangent right here. So we're actually perfectly set up to do a u substitution on this. I'm gonna substitute u for tan x. And then what's gonna happen, our du value is just gonna be this stuff, secant squared x dx. Go ahead and substitute it. Now we have the one half. Plug in pi over two here, tan of pi over two is infinity. And then plug in zero, tan of zero is just zero. Then first rewriting the numerator, we're gonna have e minus one over square root of three. Now this is just a u. This one, e minus square root of three, u. Denominator just becomes u and all this stuff over here is just a du. But then what do we notice right here? This thing, this whole integral, now we're exactly set up for our Frulani's integral. We can use this formula. We just need to check some different things because we're gonna need f of infinity needs to exist. This limit needs to exist. And we also need to be able to get a value for f of zero. But now first we're gonna need to get an f of x value or in our case, f of u. So for the, our problem, the f of u. So for our problem, f of u is just gonna be e to the minus u. And then looking at it that way, for our a value, it's just gonna be this coefficient here, not the minus sign, just the one over square root of three. So our a value, and this is one over square root of three. The b value is just gonna be square root of three here. And then we'll check these values for f of infinity. This notation is kind of shorthand what we wanna really look at here. Let's look at this as a limit as u is going to infinity of e minus u. Well, clearly this is going to zero really fast. So that's gonna be a zero there. And then let's evaluate our f of zero value. That's just gonna be e to the zero or just one. But now at this point, we've got everything we need to use our formula. So let's see if we can finish this off. I'll bring down the one half in front. Then our f of infinity value, that's gonna be a zero. f of zero is one. Then we have natural log of our a over b. This is a little messy. We get one over square root of three over square root of three here. This first part is gonna become minus one half. I can clean up this fraction, just kind of combining multiply the square root of three times square root of three, and this is gonna become natural log one over three. But I can take this whole thing here and bring it into the exponent and just clean this up a little bit. So for my final solution to this, we just get natural log square root of three. Okay, there you go. Nice one from UK 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.